Hi, my name is Wendy Wan and I am Marketing Associate at IT Convergence. This video is part of a series of educational videos on doing business in China. Today I will talk about multiple language support in Oracle Release 12. One of the most common questions is whether or not Oracle's MLS option is required. The answer is no, it's not. UTF-8 or Unicode transformation format is required. However, from our experience, we have found the vast majority do choose to go with MLS. Here's the basics. China's government requires the accounting software must have the ability to display and print reports in Chinese and store data in Chinese. There are a number of statutory reporting re requirements in China focusing on data and mandatory reports. Oracle's MLS pack is fully equipped to handle the requirements, but if a company doesn't want to implement the MLS pack, there are workarounds available. Rather than using MLS, you can meet the minimum legal requirements by using standard and ordinate fields, mixing characters of flex fields and setting up the statutory set of books within the general ledger with the government issued chart of accounts and Chinese account caption. Journals, ledgers, and fixed assets reports must follow a specific format and include all required information. Balance sheets, income statements, and tax reports must be presented monthly and cash flow statement must be presented yearly or half yearly. Oracle users can meet this reporting requirements by using FSGS and developer tool to produce reports with the data in Chinese. In addition to customizing Oracle standard reports, there are other types of operational reports that need to be in Chinese as well. Oracle users who don't have MLS installed can customize the China localization and standard Oracle reports. IT Convergence has also developed it own solutions that will allow you to deal with register boxes and electronic banking format requirements. The benefits of not installing MLS include the need for fewer system resources and faster system response time. System maintenance is also less as you do not need to apply additional language patches every time you deploy a new patch. In MLS free instance will make no impact on global customization or extensions. On the other hand, if you don't deploy MLS, your staff will need to have a much better grasp of English. Clients often underestimate the soft issue. In the greenfield operations, it's easy to attract high caliber talent with all excitement of a startup. However, as the operation scales to include hundreds or even thousands of workers, this is not practical or affordable. Going without MLS means that you need to customize more reports, which can be costly. Keep in mind that China's requirements are evolving. MLS is the most mainstream approach, so it's likely that Oracle will rapidly adapt to new requirements as they come up. Since 1998, IT Convergence has helped dozens of multinational companies to implement Oracle in China to support business expansions. We have over 16 years of professional and technical experience. I hope you found this presentation useful and feel free to check out our other videos. Please visit our website or call us for more information. Thank you.